we're going to show you how to bring this protractor in for a landing so you can measure things with it. I want you to imagine it's an airplane, and I want you to imagine that right here in this spot is kind of where you target in. Hold on, let me. We're flying this around. And I want you to imagine these are the wings, and you want to always keep your wings level with your line. Um, kind of, you can think of it as a horizon line. Um, uh, horizon is where the sun sets, so it's the flat line. Vertical is up and down. So first step here is you, you're flying your plane, uh, and you got to find the vertex. The vertex is where the two points, two lines come together at a point, and that's where it's uh, an easy trick to remember is it's kind of where it makes a V. And this is like a really fat open V. And there's the vertex, the two points where they meet. Usually they have like a letter there that'll tell you what it's called. But so that's the first step. So let's do that. We're going to fly our plane. And we got to get it closer. We got to target it in. Target in. Lock it on. We got lock on. We've locked it on. So that's the first step. Second step, you need to level the wings flat with the the uh, line you're trying to start with to measure the angle. So if you can see that line underneath there, whoa, I'm off, I'm off, I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm going to crash. Now I'm level. Now you got to count, you got to pick your scale. So which way am I measuring? If you look on. If you look here, I'm going to measure from here to here. Now, the tricky part is you could also measure from here to here. You can measure either way. It's going to be the same number of degrees. But um, this one looks easier just to start with. So when you pick which direction, I always recommend drawing an arrow because that's a common mistake. Kids don't know, uh, students don't know which way to measure. So start with um, which way you're going. And when you start, you're, from here, that's going to be your zero, and then you can just count up. Now, angles go from zero on your protractor, you're going to go from zero to 180. 180 will be a flat line. And the tricky thing to remember is zero and 180 are the same thing. So don't get confused by that. That's the reason you can also measure going this way, but we're not doing that right now. So here we go. All right, here we go again. We're flying our plane. We got to hit the vertex. We're locking on, lock and load here. We've hit. We got to hit the point. We got to get the crosshairs right on that point. We are good. I'm going to move this down a little bit so you can see it. So we're going to land. Boom, shakalaka. And now, what do we do now? Now, Here's another problem students always have. And there's the problem with this is, you see, I don't have a line long enough. I don't have a line long enough to measure. So in this little program, I can make this line bigger pretty easily. On your paper, though, you would have to draw, um, take your ruler or your protractor and just make these lines longer, but keep, keep, them, keep them straight. All right, now I've made that angle. It's not any different. It's just bigger so you can see it. And now I can measure. So flying this protractor in, I'm going to land it. I got to get target in the sights to the right there. Do, 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 do. Target it in, lock and load, level the wings. They're level. They're flat. Notice I could keep going. It's flat here, flat there. Now I can tell can use which scale am I going to use? There's two scales, inside, outside. Well, how do you know which one to use? That's why we drew that line earlier. Remember I said I was going to go from zero. So he, where's the zero? Well, if you look right here, this one starts at zero. This one starts at 180. So I start at zero. Now this one has an awesome little, little handy dandy mover. So zero, 10, 20. Notice I'm reading what? Mr. You're crazy. 
Look at this, 180, 170 is what I see. No, I'm not reading this scale. I would only read that scale if this line were all the way over here. Oops. If this were over here, and I was measuring from this way, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, all the way this way. So do you see that's a different angle? That's a different angle. I'm not measuring that angle. I'm measuring starting on this side, going this direction. So I need to go on this scale, the inside scale, outside scale. Outside scale starts over here. So why do they do that? Well, if you only had this way, you couldn't measure all angles. And so you don't, you kind of get a two for one. You can, you don't have to buy two protractors, one that measures one way, one that measures the other way. It's all on one protractor. It's kind of handy. Whoever came up with it, pretty smart. Um, so let's measure 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now, 90 is what's called a right angle. That's the angle you should always remember because a right angle, anything smaller than a right angle is a cute angle. Anything larger, even if it's only larger by just one degree, it's obtuse. Obtuse. Acute. Right. Obtuse. So let's just line this up. And this one, look at how fancy it is. It actually tells me the measurement. Oh, is it zero? Why is it showing zero? I don't know. Well, I'm going to test this out. I'm just going to go, I don't need that little thing in the middle. 90, 100, 110, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124 degrees. So that angle, so this angle from here to here, we've now measured, is 124 degrees. Now, I made that. It's not as easy as it looks. Um, there's a lot of little confusing things for people just starting out with this to, to really figure out how to measure angles. So that's 124 degrees. I always like to always ask, is it more or less than 90? There would be a 90 or a square or a right angle more, so it's obtuse. There'll be more. I'll walk you through more, some more examples of these. I hope this helped some of you. Um, start to use a protractor. Be patient. It takes a little while.